Hey everybody, Dr. Rob Silverman here, Amazon best-selling author, Inside Out Health, and ACA Sports Council Chiropractor in the year 2015. I want to share with you the power of the vagus nerve. I've been lecturing for several years on the vagus nerve. So many of my patients coming in this office have understood what we can do by upregulating the vagus nerve. New information just came out in Cell Journal, September 20th, done by Mount Sinai. We've got all the takeaways right here. Let me give you an overview. The vagus nerve, which we've talked about so many times, the right side does something different than the left side vagus nerve. So let's reel it back in and let's talk about what the vagus nerve is for you. The vagus nerve is the bi-directional communicator between your gut and your brain. So whatever happens in your gut happens in your brain. Do you know how quick your, gun, your gut can communicate with your brain? Well, most people say, well, a wild digestion, my digestion is slow. Once the vagus nerve is stimulated or not stimulated, your gut sense speaks to your brain in milliseconds. Milliseconds, not minutes, hours, days, weeks, years, months, milliseconds. It was actually one millisecond. It's that quick. The vagus nerve, once again, is the bi-directional communicator between the gut and the brain. So everybody knows the gut and the brain communicate, the brain and the gut communicate. So things that you do to your gut will damage your brain and things that damage your brain will damage your gut. So if you have a leaky gut, you've got leaky brain. If your gut's on fire, your brain's on fire. If you have a concussion, you're gonna have a gastrointestinal problem. If you've got a gut problem, you'll have neurodegeneration, higher incidence of Alzheimer's, higher incidence of guess what? Not just Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's disease, any neurodegenerative disease. Your gut in the brain is something that's so integrate, yet so direct, and yet speak so quickly, it's really the determination of your health. So what is the vagus nerve? The vagus nerve goes from the medulla oblongata all the way down and through what we call your transverse colon. It goes through your transverse colon and attaches to the outside of your intestinal tract. It doesn't go inside. It is afferent. Afferent means it takes away. It sends to your brain. Afferent, 90% of the cells are afferent. It is a sensory nerve. Parasympathetic system is a calming system. The vagus nerve has been called your rest and digest nerve. So it calms you down, not like I am, maybe not so much right now. Rest and digest nerve and enables you to, again, digest the food and, and feel nice and comfortable. That's why many times when you get excited, you have gastrointestinal, you don't get hungry. Your vagus nerve also senses from its anatomical position near the transverse colon, what's going on inside your intestinal tract. By sensing it, it communicates with your brain and your whole body, and it can typically stimulate innate immune responses. So it's quicker than your bloodstream. So very interesting that in the medical journals now, so many people have been talking about vagus nerve stimulation. Let's rip out the vagus nerve. What we wanna do is we wanna be able to modulate so the vagus nerve communicates appropriately and doesn't get shut down. It typically gets shut down when you're, like I said before, sympathetic, concussion, excited, injury, and the such. So with that all being said as groundwork, the vagus nerve now we found out on September 20th, the right and the left side do something different. So let's take a look. Number one, it plays a critical role for the vagal gut to brain axis in motivation and reward. So the vagus nerve really deems with reward and motivation for you. So the gut and the brain are communicating. Now we also know that the gut talks to the brain and many people have depression, have gut problems. Uh, optogenetic, so it's actually speaking via light. So that's really gonna to come to one of the ways that I recommend to upregulate the vagus nerve. Stimulation to the gut-to-brain axis, producing the reward behavior. Ultimately, what happens is the right side or the right vagus nerve deals with reward and behavior of the person. And the left side now deals with satiety or a feeling of fullness in the vagus nerve. Right side behavior and mood, left side, fullness and satiety, in addition to all that it does. And it was fascinating when that came out. Yesterday I grabbed every one of my patients that I upregulate the vagus nerve and work with, and I said to them, what was your problem? 
And they said some people said it was eating, they, you know, they were hungry, they were full. Other people said, you know, they have a change in personality. And to a T, the left or right side really depicted what they had told me. So a lot of this is without question pristine and exciting and outstanding. And that was in, we didn't put it down in journal of September 20th to talk about the vagus nerve. Now, I do a lot of different things to upregulate the vagus nerve. My number one choice to upregulate or my vagus nerve stimulation is the Arconia EVRL, Arconia Violet Red Laser. I have the violet light. I use the violet light. I put the violet light on the medulla oblongata down in through the transverse colon, back and up, and I'm able to stimulate in less than 30 seconds vagus nerve and modulate and improve digestion and also improve a lot of these factors that go with what these journals are saying. So chiropractically, non-surgically, thank goodness, we're able to modulate the vagus nerve. So I wanted to update you on that. I didn't want this to be one of those longer Facebook lives, you know, that 30 minute ones. I wanted this to be under 10 minutes. So the bottom line is the vagus nerve is your rest and digest nerve. Information's coming out. Right side branches of the vagus nerve are going to the central nervous system. They work with behavior and mood. The left side works with satiety. Vagus nerve stimulation is a critical element between the gut to brain axis. The gut to brain axis can be stimulated by the Oconia violet light. Steffi told me you have some questions, so let's answer those. Okay, first question. How would you stimulate the vagus nerve? So she says, how would you stimulate the vagus nerve? There's multiple ways you can, but what I use and what I found to be the most effective would be once again, the Oconia Violet uh, Light. That's a great uh, way to stimulate it. Um, there are some other chiropractic techniques, but the one that everybody can use, just pick up that Violet Light and go for broke. What foods help or hurt the vagus nerve? Great question. What foods help or hurt the vagus nerve? So any food that damages the gut is going to hurt vagus nerve. There are studies that shown that vagus nerve tone, when it's decreased, you have a higher incidence of irritable bowel disease and irritable bowel syndrome. So what things damage the gut? Well, number one, gluten, sugar, processed food, dairy, lectins if you're allergic to it, stress, non-steroid anti-inflammatories uh, like Aleve, Advil, ibuprofen, uh, once again, too high is sugar, um, and uh, alcohol. Those are the ones that come to mind right away. If they damage the gut, they damage the vagus nerve. Interestingly enough, she just, I just want to throw this out. Another uh, bit of information was the number one early marker for Alzheimer's just came out yesterday. Number one early marker for Alzheimer's was a decrease or an increase, excuse me, of the permeability of the blood brain barrier. That's array 20 in Cyrex, array 20. What they found out if your blood brain barrier is damaged, your blood brain barrier is damaged and it's an early onset or a leader towards as a marker for Alzheimer's. Your blood brain barrier and your gut barrier made up of the same proteins and the vagus nerve is that communicator. So you can start understanding how this is all, no pun intended, intertwined or intertangled with a whole cascade of issues between the gut and the brain. Okay, the next question, uh, what, other, what else can damage the vagus nerve? What other things can damage the vagus nerve? So um, not only things from the gut, but uh, as I earlier said or alluded to earlier, concussion. Concussion decreases uh, the vagus nerve. Anything that makes you go sympathetic. <sighs> Exercise can decrease the vagus nerve. You'll see a lot of people can't eat while they exercise. Traumatic brain injury, uh, bad foods. Uh, getting upset really decreases the tone of the vagus nerve. We want a balance between your sympathetic and your parasympathetic, the ability of being too upset and or being too calm. So a lot of traumatic brain injury really leads you down that path. We got it? Okay, guys, terrific. Made it nice, short, and sweet. Vagus nerve, any questions, feel free to reach out me, to me. Anybody who has any gastrointestinal or brain issues, we're getting a lot of calls. Feel free to call us at 914-287-64. Like, click, share. Tune into our YouTube. Got it? DrRobertSilverman.com. We're putting a lot of great stu stuff up. Stephanie's doing an outstanding job. So please uh, start following us on YouTube. We do a lot of demos, a lot of chiropractic demos, a lot of nutrition demos. Please let us know. We good? All right. Like, click, share, comment. Dr. Rob, always yours in health.